April showers are bringing May obstacles on Colorado's highways. This big rock slide is just the latest example of what many drivers have been up against in some spots. And that slide is going to keep I-70 closed on the western slope into tomorrow. And with more rain and possibly snow on the way, we could see even more slides. This one happened in Debec Canyon outside of Palisade. Karen Morfitt talked with some women who were caught up in that slide. And Karen, they know this could have been, uh, could have ended up much differently. Karen, that's absolutely right. And you know, if you've traveled on I-70, that they have those warnings saying rocks could fall onto the highway. Despite those warnings, you never think that it could happen to you. Well, neither did this driver until it did. Video taken moments after boulders came crashing down onto I-70 shows just how close they came to destroying Jordan Laney's car. Split second decisions, like if I would have been in the right lane, my car probably would have been completely crushed. She was behind the wheel, her sister Jay Lynn in the passenger seat and friend Tracy Griffin in the back. I felt the brakes and heard their gas, and then when I looked up, it was already coming down. While driving through Debec Canyon, just a few miles outside of Palisade, the trio watched as the truck in front of them got slammed by falling rocks. And there was just like a, like a cloud of dust, and so I tried to slam on my brakes to stop, and then all the rocks just came like crashing down onto the car. Honestly, I just turned my head like I was like, it's gonna happen, so I just looked the other way. The slide was so powerful, it pushed their car into the guardrail. As soon as they would come to a stop, Laney started yelling for everyone to get out of the car. Even looking up when we were getting out, my first instinct was to like run far away because there's still like huge ones just like hanging there. Jaylin and Tracy were both treated for concussions, but looking now at the destruction left behind, the three of them say it's a miracle they walked away at all. Yeah, I was like, we're lucky to be alive. Those eastbound lanes through that canyon are still closed tonight and will remain closed through the morning. Right now, there's no clear estimate on when eastbound I-70 will reopen, but as soon as we have an update, we will put that online at cbsdenver.com. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.